Let me quickly talk to you about Funding Circle versus Peerform versus SoFi. What is the best P2P lender site for investors and borrowers? Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. And if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's convo, I want to talk to you about three top P2P lender sites. And those are Funding Circle versus uh, Peerform versus SoFi. The thing here is that the P2P lending sites differ from traditional loans in, in the fact that they actually uh, grant people uh, loans faster. They also uh, they also have uh, a wider variety of loans, and uh, they grant loans to people who might not qualify for a traditional bank loan. For example, if uh, your credit score is lower or your small business is not showing substantial profit yet, you can actually get a, get funding from a P2P website. And they are, as I said before, they are known for a quick loan approval and disbursement of funds compared to traditional banks. As a borrower, you have to understand, though, that as a borrower or, or as an investor, you have to understand that P2P lenders in the United States are required to register with the Federal Securities and Exchange Commission, but each state has different regulations regarding securities. So you want to make sure that you check the, P2P, the P2P lending sites to, to see if your state allows you to invest or borrow money for from uh, that company. And one thing I also we also love with the P2P uh, lending sites is that that you're able to check your interest rate, the interest rate you will qualify for based on a pre-approval. This is called a soft inquiry as opposed to the uh, hard inquiry, which negatively impacts your credit score. The soft inquiry does not. And uh, the kind of loans you can get from uh, P2P lenders is diverse. I'm talking about, according to research, our research has shown that 50% of P2P uh, loans are for debt consolidation. And, but you can also get personal loans, you can get car loans, you can get um, you can get small business loans, you can get also uh, student loans out there as well. And now let's talk about investors. Why invest with online lending companies? The thing is that first, the, uh, the average returns are higher compared to similar investment opportunities. And you are, guess what? You are in the driver's seat. So you choose who you want to fund based on the risk and potential yield. And uh, many P2P lending sites allow you to lend money online for as little as $25. And uh, another thing is, if you're not a fan of big financial institutions, you're able to uh, get into the P2P game by eliminating the impersonal big bank approach to lending. All right. So before we get into the review here, please check out this uh, short video. It tells you all about our approach. We have a, a methodical process in place when it comes to reviewing P2P lending sites. And uh, we do follow a strict approach here when it comes to categorizing, to evaluating, and to listing them. Check this out. All right, let's first get into a funding circle here. The good thing with funding circle is that funding circle is a global leader actually in the peer to peer lending, but you wouldn't find personal loans here. If you're looking for personal loans, you are not in the right place because this platform focuses entirely on small business peer to peer loans and they do it ex excellently. For the last 10 years, funding circle has lent more than $2 billion to over 5,000 businesses. And basically, what's really the secret, folks? All of Funding Circle's loans are secured. <laughs> That's the catch here. So in early in early 2015, Victory Park Capital backed Funding Circle's loans with a hefty $420 million in capital. 
but Funding Circle remains a powerhouse for investors wanting higher returns with online P2P loans. And they're not the go-to place for startups, however. So to qualify, you must submit two years of business tax returns, among other criteria. And uh, they used to have a minimum revenue requirement. They no, they no longer have it. And you no longer have to show a profit in the last two years. You just have to show show them your uh, your financial info for the last two years, and you have to show other documentation. Let's look at the pros and cons of uh, Funding Circle here. What are the pros? So they have an excellent reputation and solid backing. All loans are secured. Most P2P loans are not secured. They are unsecured. But the loans that are funded by a Funding Circle are secured. Small business loans up to half a million dollars. They have competitive APR rates, which makes sense because the loans are secured. Flexible terms at one to five years. Loan approval within 72 hours. They have a dedicated, you, you have a dedicated account manager and personal underwriter provided. Investment options include fractional loan marketplace or diversified income fund. You have a responsive customer support via phone and email. And they are accredited A plus by the triple B. What are the cons? No personal loans. I just said that. This is not for startups. You must have been in business for at least two years because they are asking you for at least two years of tax returns. The minimum loan amount is twenty-five thousand. This could be high. This could be too high for some small businesses. And there is a late payment fee that are higher than the other P2P uh, websites that we have reviewed. And there is no weekend customer support hours. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. Let's now talk about peer form. So I just spoke to you about uh, Funding Circle. Let's talk about peer form. Peer form hasn't been in the P2P game as long as Landing Club or Prosper or Funding Circle. But a six-year track record is impressive in the ever-changing world of uh, web-based businesses, the fintech, you know, the so-called fintech, uh, fintech circle, especially regarding P2P online loans. Now, peer form's minimum credit score is 600 and this is lower than most peer-to-peer -peer lending for bad credit. So if you, this is something that may, might be appealing to folks who currently have a bad credit score. But the flip side of that is you will pay higher APR rates with peer form. They offer personal loans for debt consolidation, installment loans, wedding loans, home improvements, medical expenses, moving and relocation, and car financing. No, they offer no small business loan. So you have a a wide gamut when it comes to a peer form. On the investment sites, peer form mainly focuses on institutional investors rather than individuals. So if you're interested in uh, investing in peer form, you're going to have to form an LLC or LP or an S Corp or C Corp and come in as an institution, not as an individual. What are the pros and cons of a peer form here? Pros, they have a six year history of solid lending for borrowers. They have the lowest publicized minimum credit score to qualify. You can submit income sources other than employment to qualify. There is a potential for a quicker loan acceptance than with other sites. You have the ability to accept partially funded loans with certain restrictions. And investing is allowed in all 50 states. This is for investors. What are the cons? They don't offer small business loans. There is a $25,000 cap on, on all loans, less than most. There is a high interest in APR rates. They only offer three-year payback terms, so 36 months, that's kind of short, but yeah. Investing is largely limited to institutional investors. For borrowers, you incur a collection fee up to 33% of the loan of the of the loan of the principal amount if the loan goes into default. There is no weekend customer service representative um, service, you know, if you will. There is no dedicated advisor. They're not triple B accredited and there is a $15 check processing fee. So if you pay digitally, if you pay online, no problem. But if you pay uh, with a check, you have to incur a $15 check processing fee. Let's now talk about SoFi here. 
SoFi Finance and, and, and SoFi stands for Social Finance, and they were launched in 2011 as a peer-to-peer -peer lending site for student loan refinancing. But in 2015, they just kind of expanded into personal loans. I mean, they realized how lucrative the market the market is, and uh, as of today, the um, SoFi also offers MBA loans, parent loans, and mortgage loans, and they have impressively low APR rates for student loan refinancing. And the cool thing here is that you can even consolidate federal and private loans. And the SoFi rates for personal loans are, are very competitive. And with each type of loan, you can choose a fixed or variable rate. And what we love here is that this is a company that has been around for a while. They've been around for the last six years. And, uh, and uh, but their big, their big break came in 2014 where they got a financial boost with a $200 million in Series D funding from Third Point Ventures but they still welcome everyday investors and they're not much on their there's no much info on their sites about the investment side but you'll have to contact the, the uh, customer rep for more information what are the pros and cons here the pros a solid reputation as a trustworthy p2p lender very competitive apr rates for personal loans personal loans up to 100,000 and student loan refinancing up to the total amount owed low student loan refinance APR rate starting at 2.2% variable or 3.5% fixed, flexible terms for repayment, no borrower or origination fees for all loan types, you have the ability to consolidate federal and private student loans. This is actually in our review the only site we, we have seen that offers unemployment protection. In other words, they will suspend your loan payments if you become unemployment and can prove that you are unemployed. And uh, they accept co-signers for MBA loans and student refinancing in some situation, some situations. And they offer career assistance and job placement support. And they have a good customer support seven days a week via email, phone, and live chat. What are the cons here? They offer no small business loans. There are strict eligibility requirements, including good credit score, strong employment history, solid income. You must have a degree from a, a Title IV accredited university or graduate program to qualify for student loan refinancing. There is no dedicated advisor and the website lacks information for potential investors. So now let's talk about which lender is the best for a borrower. If you are a borrower out there, which lender is the best for you? Now we have actually put on the screen here. So we're gonna put on the screen two two tables and I want you to really pay attention here so pay attention to what we're seeing here so the first one is for borrowers so you have um, we have classified the, all the three lenders so we have the personal loan so funding circle has no personal loan peer form yes so far yes small business small business loans funding circle yes peer form no so far no the minimum loan amount 25,000 for funding circle 1,000 for a peer form and 5,000 for SoFi. The maximum loan amount is half a million for a funding circle, 25,000 for peer form and uh, 100 grand for a SoFi. And you can check your rate. To check your rate with funding circle, you have to apply. But for peer form and SoFi, you can see that the rate. In other words, you have a soft, a soft inquiry. And the lowest interest rate with the funding circle is 5.49% with peer form is 6.44 percent and for so far it's unlisted the lowest apr is 549 percent for a funding circle 7.12 percent for a peer form and 595 5.95 percent for so far. the highest apr is 27.79 percent for a funding circle nearly 30 percent for peer form and nearly 13 percent for so far. There is a no origination fee for SoFi, but for a funding circle, it's between one to uh, six percent, and for pure form, is for it ranges from uh, one to five percent. The approval time up to seventy-two hours. Actually, the funding circle is the fastest in our list today. For a pure form, it it can range from one day to fourteen days, and for SoFi, it could be from one day to four to twenty-one days. The loan terms. With the funding circle, you have a 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60 months. So one to five years. For peer form is only 36 months, so you have three years. And for SoFi, you have 36, 60, and 84. So you have uh, three years, 
five years and seven years. All right. Now, so we, we, we keep going here. So late fee funding circle, you have 10% of missed payment amount. PF form, PF form, you have $15 or 5% of the missed payment. In other words, the greater of both. So far, you have a five dollars or four percent of the missed payment amount, it, the, whichever is lower. There is no grace period listed for a funding circle, and for peer form and so far is fifteen days. If there is a failed payment fee, there is of course with uh, funding circle is uh, thirty five bucks. Peer form is fifteen bucks, and it's unlisted for uh, so far. Check processing fee there is uh, not none for. Uh, Funding circle and so far there's no none listed actually for PF form is fifteen dollars and do you have a dedicated account advisor you you actually have that with uh, no you don't have that actually sorry you don't have that with uh, either either of them and customer service hours are listed on the on the screen right now so my point is that by giving you all those details you have to find out exactly which category you're in in which category you're in to see which um, what's the best platform for you. If you're a business, you can only go to uh, Funding Circle. If you are an individual, you can go to Peer Form or SoFi, depending on your credit history. If you have poor credit, you go to Peer Form. If you have good credit, you go to SoFi. Let's talk about, for investors, what is the best P2P lender site? Funding Circle, Peer Form, or SoFi? Let's do a, another comparative table here and we can see the best. So funding circle, the minimum to invest is $500. Peer form and so far have not put any info out there. There is manual investing with the funding circle input and peer form. So far, there's, not, there's no info. You have to contact them. And you have automated investing. Yes, you have it with the funding circle and peer form. For so far, it's not really clearly uh, indicated. Again, you have to contact them. For is there a 401k rollover when it comes to uh, investing with funding circle? Yes, but for, for peer form and uh, so far it's not um, it's not uh, referenced. And uh, for the IRA, yes, with funding circle and for peer form and so far it's not referenced. And do they have a risk grading process? Yes, they do. And uh, all three platforms, and, and we were very happy to see that all three platforms have a risk ra uh, risk grading process that allows you to actually uh, optimize your ROI over time so um, and return range is unlisted they're not really publishing but we've seen in our research that some of those P2P lenders have um, double digit ROIs they have uh, generated double digit ROIs for their um, backers for their investors and uh, the monthly service fee it's unlisted uh, there is no information available for pure form and so far but we've seen that Funding Circle charges a 0.083% monthly service fee. And uh, there is a reinvest option with the Funding Circle, but there is no, there is none indicated on Pure Form and so far. We actually reached out. So on this table, all the categories where, where, it's, where it says uh, unlisted, we reached out to, we found no info online. We found no info in the companies, on the company's website. And we reached out to the companies and they did not get back to us so we just put unlisted here and the customer support hours are listed here on the on the uh, on the screen so you have to you have to really uh, figure out which one is best for you depending upon your situation whether you want to invest with the funding circle or peer form or SoFi all right folks we want to recap we want to really the bottom line here is that um, we need to pick and the winner our favorite our favorite in, among the three is SoFi and we have a rated SoFi 9 over 10 funding circle 8.5 over 10 and peer form 8 over 10 the reason why we have um, we have picked SoFi as the best of the winner of, the, of those three is that uh, basically the the loan amounts are a little higher so you have a high maximum you have a maximum loan amount of 100,000 so that's pretty cool from the from a borrower's perspective perspective they do take they do grant individual loans right and uh, they look for uh, people who are who have good credit a good credit score 
even if you have less than good credit score, you might still, you might still qualify if you are able to show that you have a good job or you have uh, you have a good student loans. And so far, I also have um, a wider variety of loan options from student loans to a debt consolidation loans to personal loans, something that uh, Pure Form does not have necessarily. And uh, so far, I also has a longer duration so you can get loans from 36 60 or even 84 months that, that's pretty cool from a from a borrower perspective from a from, from an investor's perspective sofi is also pretty cool in terms of uh, even though a lot of their info is not listed based on uh, the we, we've gotten some insider information that says that the returns on um, their, their rois are pretty good right so you're talking somewhere from a six to twenty percent and this is only insider information because we were not able to get any public publicly avail available information so this is a kind of important to mention here so our pick so far, nine over ten thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it. and um happy investing happy borrowing i will see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous <laughs> <laughs>